Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I kind of already started the project here, but I thought this might actually be useful information for someone out there. Right now, all the spices I do like using is McCormick. And they're all in these glass, they're all in these glass bottles. Now, I, was, I just realized when we went on our Lake Havasu trip that these glass bottles were probably rattling around inside of Wanda. And I'm afraid that they're actually going to break. So I started looking for plastic container wares for spices. McCormick does have one that's plastic, but I don't like the size and look of the bottle. I've checked online and all these other places. The ones that I do actually like the container of is the Mrs. Dash. I think they're the appropriate size. They're actually big, a little bit bigger container-wise than the regular McCormick spices. So what I've done is I went out to Walmart and these spices are about $2.50 each. Being who I am, I went out and bought a whole bunch of the, uh, of the Mrs. Dash. I soaked it in water or I, I threw away the Mrs. Dash. I soaked this in water. <sighs> I removed as much of the label that I could and what didn't come out, I used Goo God. This product is remarkable. It's great. And so with a sponge, I essentially just peeled off the label and now I have all these containers with different colored toppers. So I've already done one. It's actually wonderful. So here's one of the spices that I do use most often. Anato, which is a red dye that I use for one of my Filipino dishes. That's called kare kare. So this is what I'm doing right now is I'm repackaging the spices into plastic containers that will not break when it's traveling down the road. So for those of you who use Mrs. Dash, save your label, save your plastic, soak it in water, peel off as much of the label as you can, and then the ones that are still remaining, just use Goo Gone. And then the comes out as a very clear plastic which is nice because if you use an abrasive product, it's, you're going to have scratch marks. Does it look good? I'll show you the end product when I'm done labeling with, of course, the label maker. Apparently, most of the spices I use are red. <laughs> the anato bean um, flakes, red peppers, paprika, which is a ground down version of the red peppers, pepper, black pepper. I, use, I do use the Mrs. Dash, the salt free one and the original one. And then these are bay leaves, garlic salt. We do use this a lot. For me, it's just a dash. Chives, I love chives, especially when I'm doing baked potato or, well, it's not really baked potato. 
I zap it in the microwave, a potato, zap it in the microwave for about three minutes, and then I deep fry them with chives and butter. Oh, delicious. And then this is tajin. It's a Mexican spice that I put on fruits. So this is really good with apple. And I now cannot eat an apple, and this is Rana's fault. Rana, this is you. <laughs> you. This is the low soda sodium tajin. I can't eat an apple now without this stuff. This is delicious. Okay, so, oh, here it is. Tajin. Really good. These are all the empty bottles that are glass. Going in the garbage can. Okay, hopefully all these spices will fit in here. Bed Bath & Beyond, do not go there without a coupon. Okay, hopefully everything fits. Prices fit. Now these are all glass. Pepper, black pepper, and pink Himalayan salt. This is actually very low in sodium. Cholula and Tabasco. And this is extra virgin olive oil truffles. Really good. So these are my spices. This one goes in the bottom shelf and this one will go, I don't know yet. <laughs> Maybe they both will go in the bottom. <sighs> we'll see. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye. This is the drawer that the spices are going in, well at least the main ones. So I gotta move all this stuff around. And it, and it fits.